We'll start by reviewing the frames at the top. We note that each frame has three shapes. There's a large white shape that contains two small shapes, a black one and a white one. That's our first rule. That rules out answer option D. As we examine the small black shape across the frames, we don't notice a pattern. Unfortunately, the same applies to the small white shape and large white shape. This might be the moment to consider the possibility of instruction or a link between the shapes. When we have a closer look, we find that the small black shape is the same as the large white shape in each frame. That's our second rule. That rules out B and E. Now we've covered the relevant information about the shapes within the same frame, so the only option left is to take instruction into account. What we often see with instruction is that a shape in one frame indicates a shape in the next frame. As we've considered the small black shape and the large white shape for rule 2, we might have a closer look at the small white shape for the next rule. In frame 1 we notice that the small white shape is a square. In frame 2 we see that the large white shape is also a square. That pattern continues across the frames, so it's safe to say that the small white shape in one frame is the same as the large white shape in the next frame. That's our third rule. Therefore, the correct answer is A.